Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about mind test modding. All right, so finally, we are going to be changing up mind test by writing some mods in for mind test. Of course, as you know, the bedrock or the language that those <clears throat> mods are written in is Lua. And as such, uh, the, the um, syntax and the, the method in which we write it is still the same, but you will find that it is slightly different. The functions that you'll be accessing will be different than Lua. Uh, for instance, MindTest has created its own uh, API, which is um, basically their, their own functions that are used to access methods or, or results in the game. And, and so you'll have to learn what those are and how to use them in order to actually write a mod. Uh, but but the, the, the core, the function, the, the, um, the how it all works is still the same. Um, so we've got that foundation and now we can move into uh, actually writing our mods. So today I'm just going to give a grand overview and point you towards a couple resources. Okay, so here we are on a typical you know computer and I've got the mind test icon up here. Uh, if I now that is just simply a shortcut to a bunch of files. Uh, any program, is just a whole bunch of files located somewhere on your computer. So we need to get in our mind uh, uh, the understanding of where those files are. Okay, so the easiest way to find the file locations, it's not necessarily, it won't necessarily work, but it's the easiest way if it does, uh, is to right click the icon and then select open file location. And what that does is it pulls up the, um, the, the folder which contains the executable. The executable is kind of this neat little package which then accesses and uh, activates all of the other files that are associated with that program. Uh, and so here we are in some sort of folder. Um, you'll notice that in my case it's in the downloads folder and that's quite common. So if that doesn't work for you, let's just take a second and uh, look in our downloads folder. And I did that by just going to my downloads folder and you can kind of search through there and look for mind test. And there you go, it's, it, there's the folder. It should something, look something like mind test um, uh, and then the version number and so on. So that's, that's another location. The, the last location that I typically uh, we'll see it is in your root uh, drive, which is just C. You can either type in that was a semi that was a C semicolon no C colon backslash to get to this folder, or you can uh, in your navigation, your finder, if you will, uh, your explorer, you can <clears throat> click on C, and it'll take you right to. Um, that's after opening up my computer. And you can actually see in my case, I do have some sort of folder and there, there is a uh, mind test already on here. Uh, so I guess I have it in two different locations, but the shortcut up here only opens up the one in the downloads. Okay, so continuing on from the uh, first example or method, uh, we are in some sort of folder. So what we can do is we can, uh, using the um, URL, or the the uh, the path up here, we can click on the first mind test and uh, and then one and then go in one. And this takes you to the entire game of mind test. Everything that the game is uh, is stored in these files. So as some of you already know, you can change a lot of just different things about the game simply by looking through these folders and. Uh, you know, uh, changing pictures or, or whatever. Uh, you, can, you can change a lot about the game. Uh, but you'll notice right down here it says mods and it says the mods because that is actually where you would put uh, mods. 
Now, uh, they typically any uh, any open source will have material that helps guide you and understand, and that's what this text document is. It just says you can you can uh, uh, add your mods here. So this is where we will be creating and writing our own mods. Well, let's back up for just a second and look at uh, some of the other things going on here. You know what, let me pause and not do that. I don't wanna overwhelm. Uh, so let's go into, uh, let me show you also where you can get other mods. So we're gonna close down the Explorer, open up uh, Mind Test, and um, let me make this bigger. What we can do here is we can say content and then browse online content. And basically what this is, is just a repository of a lot of mods that other people have made. You can navigate it. You can figure out how to navigate yourself. Uh, you can type in something if you wanted to uh, look for something specifically. And, uh, and then it, to add it to your game, uh, you simply click install and it adds it not necessarily to your game but it adds it to the mods folder so let's see here this is a a uh, this is an actual game it's not really a mod but let's click install and it's gonna take some time and there you go it is has finished installing um, and we can go and find I think we should be able to find the mod let me check real quick Okay, whoops, uh, that didn't work. Let's try a different one. Let's just go with uh, mobs, because, you know, who, who doesn't want mobs? So we're going to click install, and uh, that was a lot faster. Uh, so now let's head on over to our folder, and mine is in downloads, mind test, and then mods, and there's mobs. It's been added to my, uh, to my game. And I can see that it has, there's just a lot of different files uh, in, in this folder. And uh, so, of course, what does each one do? Well, we'll, we'll get there. Okay, so from here from the content menu, let's go back to main menu and click on mobs. And one thing you need to pay attention to is this section right here, dependencies. And it says right here, so, okay, what is a dependency? A dependency is some, some other mod that this mod requires. Uh, so each mod will uh, either build on another one or it just introduces something altogether new or whatever. So uh, they're not gonna try to reinvent the wheel uh, if they need mobs in their mod, right? So they're just gonna say, hey, make sure that you have the other mod first. So pay attention to this, uh, this section right here, um, dependencies. Right, um, this mod only requires the default mod pack, which comes with the game. So we are good, we do not need to install any other mo uh, mods. And so let's now go over to start a game and we will configure it to include the mod. So I don't have any world, so I'm gonna click new, just type test. Don't worry about seed, map gen, v is a good one. And uh, here actually is that game that uh, that I downloaded, uh, mine clone two. I'm just going to go with the default game, and then uh, yep, there's all kinds of other options that uh, uh, float lands now nah, uh, that that you can select or deselect. And so here it is. Now um, I'm sorry that was fast. So I I've selected the world, and I'm going to click configure. And here's all the mods that I've downloaded so far. This is the the default basically the default and it's just enabled by default. And I, I want to uh, actually uh, enable mob, mobs and so I've clicked, checked enabled um, or enable. All right, so that is uh, that is it. I'm sure there's other things you can check out around here. It looks like this option might take you to the content uh, menu. This is if you're trying to enable all just a bunch of mobs, mods that you've added. So if we click save, now our game is ready to go. And if we load it, uh, we will see that it is uh, indeed, uh, it has the mobs in it. So that is a very broad overview of uh, mods. What I want you to do is create a world, uh, download some mobs, and, uh, and if you have trouble, of course, let me know. 
Uh, but once you're done downloading some mobs, mods, uh, just uh, either let me know and I'll come and look at it. Or, uh, and in addition, and in addition, take a picture of your screen which shows that you've added the mods and whatnot in some sort of way. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys.